minute restrictions and coach through those things, but it was just nice to get them on the floor. Uh, gets everybody in their their natural roles that we have planned. Uh, but we a lot of threes, uh, we're moving the ball, a lot of assists. Uh, I wish we would only had uh, what we have. I wish we only had 18 assists and and then 13 last game would have been, I mean, um, threes, it would have been a lot better. We were knocking threes down throughout the game. So it's good. DB is, uh, he's feeling good. He's, he's healthy, but he's a big difference maker. When he, when he's flying off the screens, not only, not only does he not get the ball at times, but he, he allows our drivers and our penetrate uh, guards to get to the, to the key and uh, get easy buckets. But our pass, our passing tonight was really good. Ava. Um, Scott, how important was it to be able to close both halves as strongly as you guys did? Obviously, the threes were falling, but that's something that obviously you struggled with earlier this week. It must have been nice to see tonight. Yeah, it was just nice to see. Like I said, we, I, I believe in our guys being able to make threes. Unfortunately, we haven't made them enough. But I, I, I don't anticipate us going forward making 19 every game. But I know we can step up and make them and, and not go, you know, the three for 17 and a half. I, I feel like we're much better than that. But the spacing, the ball movement, but just having everybody back. It's uh, we, We've asked a lot for a lot of guys to play more minutes than they probably were used to. It takes it takes a, a lot of wear and tear on your body and all the games with the, with the COVID uh, situation this year. It's, but just nice to get a, a full roster. I mean, almost a full roster. We got Gaff and coming back so that that would be you know hopefully soon there but it's nice to be able to make shots throughout the game and close the close the fourth quarter how does um davis seem to you playing on the minutes restriction he looks like everything's coming really easily i feel like even earlier in the year when he would have the couple of games where he was hitting shots that things looked like he was either tired or fatigued or struggling where it doesn't look like that now or at least to me yeah, yeah. i mean it, i agree uh he he's he's never really looked the same uh, from the start of the season, but the last two games it's crazy that he has. This is what we this is how he played last year. We need him to to look this way. I mean, like I said, he's not going to go six for eleven every night, but you're going to see more of those nights than not. Uh, but he, you can just see something something's different. He's moving around better. Um, he was obviously in the uh, the came to camp uh, late and then the safety protocol and all that. It, everything affects everybody differently, uh, but he definitely looks different the last couple of nights. And he's on some minute restrictions. Hopefully, you know, we can increase that. And, but like I said, he's, he's the definitely a difference maker for our team when he makes shots and, and spaces the floor and it allows a lot of angles for our, our penetrating guards that can get in there and attack. Thanks, Scott. Thank you. John. I think you're still muted there, John. Sorry. John. John, you're muted. Sorry, I was doing it on my phone for the first time. Scotty, you said before the game when, when you get shooting back around Russ that your whole team will be better. How did you think uh, Bradley moved, and how did you think Russ played? Well, it's it's different. I mean, Russ is a, Russ is a dynamic player, but he needs shooters around him. He needs bigs that can roll and finish around the rim. Uh, he needs that. Uh, his game uh, requires that. You know, I don't know if you guys have seen a lot of our games. There, it's – that's three seconds in the key. And a lot of guys, until we made shots, it was going to continue to be that way. But we got our shot makers back. Uh, and I know at times it's, it's frustrating uh, to see and to watch. Uh, but I, I, I'm just I'm, – I'm happy everybody's back. How do you, you think Brad played, moved? Russell, 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 Brad, Brad looked great. It's amazing how he hasn't done much in, 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 in 10 days, but just trying to – get ready for every game on like Fred mentioned before the game is questionable game time decision. And I, I look at that as I like that 
I've been, trust me, I've been on a lot of teams and a lot of players coach them and played with that they wouldn't have had questionable. They would have said, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys in two weeks. But he wanted to play. He wanted to play every night. That's why it was, it was, it was awkward for me and thinking that, okay, this is the night and, and then make, you know, a last minute adjustment on, on what we do and what we have with Brad look like he's hasn't skipped the beat. That's how great, uh, so dynamic and amazing of a basketball player he is. He can just step in and act like he's never, never missed a game. Thank you, Scotty. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it, John. Fred. Hey, Scott. Um, Denny had one of his bigger lines of the season tonight and seemed to be a little more aggressive attacking and, and putting up shots when he had them there. Uh, what, what did you see from him that made him successful tonight? Yeah, I think you've been seeing a little bit of a, a more confident Denny. Uh, whether he went through the the so-called rookie wall a month ago or, or so, but you know the last the last two weeks, there's definitely trending in the right direction. Uh, you can just see it in, in his face. Uh, and sometimes, you know, we all we all expect and 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 want it right away. And he's no different than all the other young players in this league. He came in as a 19 year old. Uh, I don't coach him as a 19 year old. I coach him as a player that he's signed up to be an NBA player. You're going to have ups and downs, and, and and he's had he's had his share. But every every player in the league history has their share. But he's definitely trending in the right direction. You can just like I said, you can see it in his face. He's smiling even during the game. I said, "Can I like to see you smile?" He says, "Coach, I'm having fun." And I said, "Well, that's that's the point of the game. Have fun every night." It's not fun doesn't should not be predicated on making a shot or missing a shot. But if that's the case, you know, if you're a great shooter, you're only going to have fun every other shot. Uh, but I, I like the fact that he's come out and he's aggressive. Hopefully he can, you know, make, you know, three or four threes. But I like the fact that he's took seven, but he rebounds. He rebounds at a high level right now. That's not easy to do considering we have a, a point guard that seems to gobble up every rebound. But he's in there getting five or six every night. Zach Akuma. Hey, Coach. Uh, you touched on the shot makers making their threes today, uh, helping to unclog the paint. But how does Rui's presence help create space for others? Yeah, Rui, Rui struggled in the first half with, you know, his shoulder. I mean, he's battling through it, but he, he felt good enough to, to play in the game tonight. But I thought he came back, you know, he's a little rusty, which is, you know, which is probably normal uh, for most. Uh, but he came back in the second half, half and gave us some buckets and timely buckets. And his switching on defense is getting better. I thought it's gotten better throughout the year. Tonight was pretty good. Uh, we need it. He's like our guy. He's like our guy that can guard multiple positions. Just great to have him back. You know what? It's just great to have him back. I. Um, it's, it's nice to have a, a roster now. You know, we have to just kind of navigate through all through all the minute restrictions, but that those will be lifted. You know you know, soon. I don't know how soon. The sooner would be better for me, but it was just nice to have everybody back tonight. Thank you. Thanks. Neil? Scott, on the post-game show when Brad was talking to the television station, he said that he had some nerve damage that he was dealing with. I'm just curious, is that something that's 100% healed and of no worry, or is there any concern that it could become reoccurring? No, I mean, I don't know if it was, I don't know if the term was nerve damage. I'm probably, I'll be speaking out of place, but I know that's some nerve issue and it was, it got fired, fired up. I mean, he, he took it. I mean, I, I, I even looked at that fall again. Um, he took it pretty, I mean, it's, it was pretty painful and, and he got up and played first time down the court. I'm like looking at it. I think he was all right. And then the second or third time, then you can tell he was laboring. He was rubbing on his, uh, his, his hip. And then we, Try to come back. That's how tough he is. He tried to come back in the second half, and then we shut it down. That's what he wants to play. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to be the case, but I know it flared up uh, and it bothered him. Um, but our guys, I trust our performance staff and and Brad. They know they know what they're doing. I'm just being told what to do when he when he's able to play. He's under he's under some minute restrictions and. 
it was good that he played right around that. Um, but going forward, I'm hoping that he can, you know, play every game here on out. Because obviously when you have the best player out, that puts a lot of stress on a lot of guys doing things and playing roles that they're not really comfortable with. All right, last question is Shai. Uh, may I record? Sure. Yep. Thank you. Um, coach, I want to ask you about uh, Danny Avdia. So tonight uh, here in Israel is uh, Holocaust Memorial Eve. Um, and of course, Danny played with uh, the word he's calling his shoes, which is remember how meaningful do you believe was tonight's game for him? No, it, was, it, was a, it was a great game. Obviously, I'm not aware of that. Um, but yeah, it's uh, my prayers go to everybody that has been affected by it. Um, Denny's, a, Denny's a really competitive, hardworking uh, young player that's going to continue to develop because he puts a lot of work in and he cares about the work. And we got guys and coaches that want him to be great. And at times, and I know there's a lot of pressure and there's a lot of stress on every young player in this league. And this, and this year is extreme, extremely different. No summer league, no training camp, COVID and, and all the situations, seven players and coming back and being away from family and not having people come visit you and social life. It's been hard on a young player, uh, on the older players that are married with kids. It's not as bad. It's like, you know, it's the same, but a young player, it's hard. And a 19-year-old coming into the league, I can't imagine being able to handle it the way he has. And I give him and his parents a lot of credit how he was raised. And, and you know, he's he's going to be a really good player. Um, but I like the fact that he came out and and it's gotten better. It's gotten better, like I said, about two weeks now. He's made another step in his growth. Uh, every rookie in this league doesn't guarantee minutes. I mean, he's earned of being a starter at one time, putting him on the bench, and he's earned it coming back as a starter again. But I think what he's done is is pretty cool to see. And I'm, 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 I'm glad that he has that toughness that it requires to be able to go through all the mental stress that he has been, he's been able to go through and handle it. You, you, you always obviously been a low post guy to a degree, but, but the amount that you're kind of scoring with with the different variations of your hook shot this year, uh, at least statistically, is so much higher than any other year of your career. Did did you see yourself being being used this way? And and like, did you see yourself developing into this style of player years back? Um, honestly, it's kind of whatever the team needs from me. I'm I'm trying to help out however I can. And I'm curious, I'm curious to get your opinion as one of the vets on a Denny, Denny had a, a big night tonight. And I'm just wondering what you've seen from his progression uh, kind of from day one until this point of the season. I think tonight he did a good job of being confident and being aggressive. Um, when he saw a shot tonight, he took it, he let it fly. And that's, that's what we need from everybody. But you, you love seeing that from him. Zach? Robin, it seemed like your shot distribution tonight across the board, like everybody was getting involved. Uh, what did you think of the team's passing tonight in comparison uh, to what it's been like the last couple of weeks? I thought it was great. The ball was flowing. Um, like I said, when, when, it, when people got to their shots, they didn't pass them up. They took their shots, and that's something that needs to happen in the flow of the offense. Thank you. Christos? Hello, Robin. Congratulations on the win and the performance as well. How needed was that win for you, mentally wise? Um, you know, any, any NBA win's a good win. We need them all. Um, you know, we'll enjoy it tonight and move on to the next one tomorrow. And how different is the at the whole atmosphere in the team with Bradley and uh, Russell on the court? Um, they're both huge playmakers for our team, whether it's scoring or passing. Um, drawing the attention of the defense. They're huge for what we do. How neat it was, not only the win, but also uh, the performance tonight? Uh, I think, you know, uh, the most important thing was the win, of course, but uh, the performance overall, we still made made plenty of mistakes defensively. We could have done a better job there, but uh, 
I think the difference between some of the games this season and uh, tonight, we got to the shots that we wanted, not the other team wanted to, us to take. So, you know, everybody was shooting with more confidence and everybody's making the shots. And how good for you, for the mentality of that team was to see Bradley Bill back on the court, Rui Hachimura back on the court, Robin Lopez to be activated. How good for you was that? Uh, those are really important guys for this team. And, uh, and of course, it's great to have them on the court. Uh, they're definitely a big, big lift on uh, both ends of the floor. Thank you very much. Zach. Zach might have left his hand up from before. Ava. Hey, Dallas. Um, just wanted to know how you're feeling a couple big games back now after the cap strain. Uh, it's been pretty good, you know, still have the minutes, minutes restrictions, so be careful, you know, you, you can't joke with the muscles around like that, uh, taking taking chances, and uh, but overall, I feel good, you know, I had uh, basically two weeks to work on my body, mind, everything, and uh, kind of get myself ready coming back for this home stretch from the reg for the reg regular season. Yeah, I was going to ask about that time off you had. You've had such kind of a choppy season kind of all throughout, but how good was it to have just a solid two weeks where you said like you could um, you could work out? How much were you actually able to do in terms of on-court stuff uh, during that time? Uh, first week was was more in the in the weight room uh, for whatever cardio or conditioning on a bike. And then the second week slowly could start ramping up a little bit, start, start some running full court and then uh, – but overall, the whole the whole thing I think was was just important for for the whole body and kind of step step away a little bit from the game and, and get it reset in some way. Shibata. Hello, Davis. Congratulations on a good win. Thank you. Uh, I would like to ask you about uh, uh, your three point shooting today. So. Last game against the uh, Raptors, you struggled in the fourth quarter, especially. So did that fourth quarter uh, kind of gave you uh, some kind of extra motivation to tonight tonight's game? I think we just, uh, you know, those are two different games, two different teams. And in the fourth quarter, they're probably more pay, pay, paying attention to the shooters a little bit and, uh, and not giving us good looks. Uh, and tonight, uh, I think offensively, we got whatever we wanted, so that just made the game easy. Um, Brad, you mentioned a little potential nerve damage with the injury that you've been dealing with when you talked to the TV guys. Um, what was the extent of the injury, and how are you feeling now, especially after you took another another fall? Uh, first praise my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, the medical term is neuralgia parasthetica, so it's a nerve inside your hip area um so the swelling and the inflammation from the fall um just kind of compressed on the nerve and that was just shooting just sharp pains down my leg the last week and a half that that kept me out of games kept me out of doing a lot of stuff uh you know on the floor so uh it'll be a day by day day by day thing uh you know just kind of just keeping the nerve as calm as possible um it's really tough to Kind of tough. There's nothing really that you can specifically hands on do for a nerve, but uh, but rest and let it calm down. So we're just just taking it a day at a time. And how did it feel moving around tonight? It didn't look like you had much of a problem. I feel good. I didn't have any of the the sharp pains that kept me out of out of the last five. Um, so you know that was what was most important to me is making sure that I was comfortable and confident with my ability to move on both ends of the floor. Um, and, uh, I know the physicality and getting hit in it and that's all part of it. You know, I kind of expect those things, but if I can control it as much as I can and, and feel good out there, then I'm gonna give it a go. Zach. Brad was tonight with the shot distribution, kind of what you guys are trying to do this season, you know, no one taking too many shots, guys really sharing the sugar. Yeah, I mean, it was it was even better. We were making shots, you know that always helps. Uh, but I definitely feel like tonight we were really moving the ball, getting in the paint, and uh, doing a good job of just creating for the next man. And and we were just confident in taking those shots. And I think 
past five games and even a little bit before that like we were pass up a lot of these shots, you know, kind of second guess ourselves and, or, you know, those type of things lead to bad shots and bad turnovers. So uh, I think we did a better job of uh, being cognizant of open shots, better shots. And then obviously we're defending a lot better too. So. Thanks. Fred. Hey, Brad. Um, uh, you're you don't miss very many games ever. I, I want to say this is like the longest stretch you've missed in a while, right? right? Um, what are I mean, we hear all the time that when somebody's hurt or dealing with something, you're you're having conversations with the medical staff. What what are those conversations like when it when you're kind of going through game time decisions and you have to decide I can deal with the pain, can't deal with the pain, that kind of stuff? It's ultimately my decisions, nobody else's. Um, you know, nobody knows my body better than me. Um, you know, our training staff does an excellent job of just trusting me and um, me being around them and, you know, kind of gaining their trust. And I mean, everybody has, we all have the same mental when it comes to me playing. Like I'm, there are times I'm going to be hard headed and play probably when I shouldn't, but uh, with something like this, that can be possibly holding me out longer than, than what I really want. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to play it smart and kind of be selfish. So yeah. Uh, it's tough uh, because, you, like you just said, I, I don't miss games. I, it, it's like pulling teeth to get me to sit down. Um, part of me tonight didn't want to play, but I knew I had to play. Uh, it's one of those things where you got to push through eventually. Um, and I was able to tolerate a lot of it tonight. I didn't have any of the, the pains I felt in the past week and a half. So uh, I feel good in that standpoint. But like I said before, it's a, it's a day-by-day thing. I mean, I can wake up tomorrow and, being excruciating pain for all I know. Um, so just taking a day at a time. I'm thankful that I was able to compete and finish without any crazy things happening tonight. And and I wanted to to get your take on um Den- Denny had a had a really nice night tonight. And he's kind of gone up and down as a rookie. And you say all the time that his his job this year is just to sit back and learn, right? So I'm curious since you've been observing him now, especially as a guy sitting on the sideline and not not playing, watching him for five games. What what have you noticed he's learned so far this year? Uh, he's learning obviously when he's getting the ball, where he can expect to get the ball. Uh, obviously on offensive end, defensively he's going to have a tough matchup every night. Uh, he's, he has big size, he's very versatile. We trust him to be able to guard and switch and guard multiple positions. Uh, but I feel like on offense, you know, Russ yells at him if he doesn't shoot the ball. So. Whenever Rush yells, you do what the hell he says, and, you know, you kind of let the results play out as they may. Uh, but, no, we all just constantly encourage him to be aggressive, uh, you know, look for his shots. Uh, don't be afraid to push the ball a little bit. Uh, understand that, you know, like like I always tell him, he's going to learn, and you just learn where Russ likes to drive, you know, learn what I like to drive, learn where you – learn and know when to cut, when not to cut, uh, when you have a mismatch, when you can post up, when you can't, you know. Uh, so he's understanding it. He's, he's definitely gravitating towards it and he's learning. And uh, We love his aggression. So we're definitely happy he's able to see something go in, build his confidence up. You're wrong. Um, just to continue on, on Fred's uh, question about Denny, uh, how much of his confidence do you think comes from uh, is derived from the three point shooting, and how much is it when you see him put the ball on the floor and start driving? Uh, I mean, it's his natural instinct. He he was like that when he first uh, first stepped foot in DC. You know, he was just a confident player. He wasn't cocky. He was just he just believes in himself, and uh, you know that's that's what one thing I love about him. You know, he's not he doesn't back down from anybody. Uh, doesn't back down from a challenge with coach or me or Russ. You know, he, he accepts everything and he he, he fights it hair strong. Uh, you know, so we're we you always appreciative of a warrior like that. Uh, but obviously, you know, he needs to continue to grow and continue to, you know, get better. Uh I can't really speak for what makes him super confident in the game. Uh but you know, when I know when he's knocking down threes and you know he's able to get to the basket and finish, you know, that, that helps us out and spaces the floor out even more. So uh, he likes it. I love it. But we need him to continue to be consistent and get better. Thanks. Neil. Hey, Brad. Glad to hear you're feeling a little bit better. Um, not necessarily so much about tonight's game, but, you know, you sat on the bench for five games. 
I'm curious, just, you know, did anything stand out to you uh, about this team and maybe aspects where you think you guys need to improve? Uh, finishing, you know, we, uh, we were in a lot of the games um, and it just came down to fourth quarter us being able to finish and close out those games. And it's been kind of a uh, Achilles heel lately and granted, I mean, our defense wasn't, wasn't great in those games either, but I think just our execution down the stretch, you know, being able to help Russ out, being more moving. We were a lot, we we're very stagnant, I think, in a lot of those games, uh, a lot of, you know, overloaded sides and uh, not a lot of, you know, continuity and movement. So uh, I think just being able to get back to that, then obviously making shots, you know, that, that, that helps too. So spacing has to be better. I want to talk to you about tonight, and we're talking about your injury, you know, for five games. Is it one of those things where you said you didn't have any pain playing with it, but have you gone through some type of training, um, I guess, treatment for it, and then you've woken up the next day and been like, oh, this, this is it. Like, is this something that you can play with throughout pain, and then tomorrow you're just like, here's a step back? Uh, that's the tough part. I think that's what I'm kind of and we're all the medical staff kind of trying to juggle is, you know, how to get out in front of it and, you know, keep it, keep it calm. Uh, obviously, you know, they got me on some, some meds and just uh, obviously rehabbing and doing a lot of cupping stuff and dry needling. Uh, other than that, anything else kind of irritates the muscle that's already inflamed. And I got a lot of blood, you know, uh, just kind of built up in the muscle, medema built up in the muscle. Uh, so it's just kind of just got to be able to flush it out as best as I can. And the only thing that really feels good is movement. And that's kind of weird because it doesn't always feel great moving all the time. So it's just kind of a, how you feel per day and, you know, kind of try to push through it if you can. And I saw you got to catch up with OP after the game. How good was it for you to think with your former teammate? I know you're not going to tell us what you guys talked about, but how good was it for you to talk to him? I missed part of your question, Q. What did you say? I saw you linked with Otto Porter after the game. Yeah. You guys chopped it up. How good was it for you to talk to him and just, you know, be able to see him, even though he's going through an injury as well? Uh, just chat it up with your former teammate. It's always great, man. Otto's my guy. Uh, both Missouri guys. Um, you know, we were – had some great years in D.C. together. and You know, I'm always keeping up with him and, you know, wanting him to be on the floor. This is, this is a big year for him. It's contract year. So, uh, you know, we were – Briefly chopping it up about that and, you know, his fam and everything. And, uh, you know, he's in good spirits and he's always going to continue to find a way in his league. He's always going to find a job. You know, he he does all the little things and, you know, he does his job well. So always, it's always good catching up with O. I wish him, wish him the best for sure. Appreciate it. Christos. Hello, Bradley. First of all, welcome back. How old? What was the toughest part for you to sit on the bench and watch your teammates playing on the court? How tough for you was that? And this win tonight could be a turning point about your season. Yeah, I mean, I hate sitting out. I don't miss games. Uh, it takes, a, takes the training staff to really force me a lot of times to sit out. In this case, I was a little bit more selfish, and I knew I, there were times in which I I didn't want to be half-assed to my team. And... Uh, you know, and, and a lot of those times watching those games, it hurts, you know, because you want to be out there. You want to give it your all. You don't want to be that guy. Um, and you always want to go out there with your troops. You know, you never want to leave your, your soldiers out there by themselves. Um, and so it was definitely tough. I'm a competitor. I love the I love the hoop. I love to just be out there. Um, but being able to get it from a different perspective also helps, too. Uh, helps me be able to, you know, kind of teach guys and help mold young guys on the team and, help them, you know, help them learn a little bit more. And when I get back, you know, kind of tell them what to expect and what I like and, you know, how we can grow. Um, and so it's, it's been beneficial. You know, I, I definitely, I definitely utilize, you know, the time of being off to them, to my advantage and just constantly educating myself and trying to learn the game. 